Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News, on iTunes One Word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. The red flags are out for last minute betters with regard to the Gennady Golovkin, Marco Antonio Rubio fight, you need to proceed with caution, right? You don't want to bet on a guy and then find out that the guy is drained and isn't in top condition. Now, it's unclear at this point whether that's the case in this fight, but just understand that Marco Antonio Rubio failed to make weight by a large margin. 1.8 pounds is huge. Right? Also understand that his people, according to reports, Dan Rayfield on ESPN, they came to the arena knowing that he wouldn't make weight and had offered an amended contract to the California State Athletic Commission where he was willing to have his salary, his, excuse me, his purse dropped by about $100,000. Now, one of two things is going on here. The fight's going to go forward, but it's no longer a title fight for Rubio. One of two things is going on here. Either Rubio wanted to have a little bit extra weight on him and he understands that a one hundred thousand dollar penalty here pales in comparison to the money he would get on the back end if he becomes the first man to beat Janady Golovkin right keep in mind in an earlier video I pointed out that I was concerned about Rubio's interim weight he was actually weighing in the 170s 30 days out from this fight, right? It's possible that Rubio never intended to make 160, right? I'm not saying that as a fact. I'm just speculating here online, but that's possible. It wouldn't be the first time it happened in the world of boxing. But there is a different possibility, a possibility that an older fighter tried to drain his body and hit a wall. His trainer, Robert Garcia, one of the best in the business, is quoted in the Rayfield piece as saying that they tried to lose the extra weight, but the weight just wouldn't come off. For a sold-out fight of this magnitude, a fight that's going to be televised on HBO, that's simply astonishing, especially given that Rubio wasn't within a pound and a half of making weight. So now you, the gambler, have to figure out which one it is. Because, of course, we know Janady Golovkin is going to bring pressure. We know numerous opponents of Golovkin, namely people like Matthew Macklin, Daniel Gill, have folded early. In other words, if Rubio is not in shape, he's not going to be able to deal with the physicality, the onslaught, right? So be careful with this fight. My own take is that Rubio is a live underdog, right? My own take is that Rubio has a chance here, certainly more of a chance than the odds being offered by the Vegas casinos. In other words, I think Rubio has been in exactly this kind of situation against this kind of opponent before, when he fought David Lemieux. But I also have to say that I'm very disappointed, very disappointed with his failure to make weight. Right? That cast doubts in my mind that I didn't have when I made the pre-fight video. So just be aware that he missed weight. Just be aware of the fact that it's a wide miss. Just be aware of the fact that he's the older fighter. Right? And so if he's 
out of shape against a young knockout lion like Golovkin, that could spell trouble. If you haven't placed a bet on this fight already, my advice to you is to proceed with caution. Go to your computer, Google the weigh-in, look up the comments of insiders like Golovkin, figure out exactly when Rubio's people had this alternative contract, this amended contract, prepared for the California State Athletic Commission. In other words, if they had it prepared well in advance of the weigh-in, then this is strategy. Right? Missing weight is strategy. Right? Not a failure in training. But if this was pieced together at the last minute to save a fight for a major cable outlet, then the red flags are out. Proceed with caution. Let me hear from you. If anyone has any other late-breaking news, because you know how it is in boxing, the weigh-ins the day before the fight, then you're finding out information all the way up until the fighters touch gloves. Right? Put that late-breaking information in the comment section to this video. Let's all try to figure this one out. Let's try to help gamblers beat the casino. Thanks for stopping by.